lettuce eat. She's lettuce eat, and you're in for a treat when you watch lettuce eat. Dollar Tree clean with me, zoning and decluttering. Zaire, Jacqueline, Dave doing his thing. Dutch oven meal hacks. She's coming back. She's coming back. We're starting off this week's grocery haul at the gas station for BJ's. It's three thirty-seven a gallon, cheaper than most of the filling stations within our area. We like to price compare our gas before we fill up. David usually goes to GasBuddies.com or one of the other sites and check out to see what the best price of, is available near our stores where we shop at. If you're new, we have grocery haul playlist linked down below. Smash on that subscribe word, and later in the video, we'll talk about some giveaways, go over the prices, and everything on the table. If you're viewing my channel for the first time, then the BJ's is set up differently than a regular supermarket. They have some season in the front, stuff that's on sale, customer service, and other things that BJ's has available for you, like glasses and things like that. And then it spawns off all the way to the back with clothing goods and non-food items. Then they have meats in the back, a butcher, and then boxed items all the way to the left. I am totally addicted to these salads. I get two of them for $6.99, and they're a good buy. And it's cheaper than buying all the ingredients to make a salad. I absolutely love blue cheese. It's $5.99 for that tub. It lasts a long time. I love to top it on my salads. I'm getting the Italian cheese board for $11.99 for a few more dollars. I'm gonna get a bunch of different cheeses rather than just one style, and it's already sliced. Grabbing some lunch meat, I'm gonna get some ham and turkey. I'll let you know on the table how much it is. We usually get about a third to a quarter of a pound. I love their rolls and uh, their geyser rolls. We're gonna get a package of those as well. They're awesome and they're great for quick snacks and breakfast sandwiches. I'm getting the Jimmy Dean breakfast sausages for $11.49, plus there is a coupon. We're looking over at the breakfast items. I want something a little different. I haven't decided what I wanted for my breakfast in the morning getting kind of tired of making my eggs. They have the sweet maple griddle, which I really like from McDonald's from time to time. I don't like the Jimmy Dean ones anymore. And I'm thinking about trying the turkey one. And they have other varieties. I'm gonna get the egg white with cheese and turkey sausage and I'll let you know how much it is on the receipt at home. Getting this bag of the Tyson chicken wings for $26.99. It is actually a very good buy. It does a lot of different types of meals lunches and dinners and snacks. We're gonna head to check out the other side of the store here. There's some of the non-food items, coffees. Sometimes they have tables set up for sampling and it's mostly self-checkout now. And we're gonna head to the front. When we're doing grocery hauls, we like to shop in an area that have multiple stores, so we bulk shop. We have a Walgreens nearby. We have our shop right near the BJ's. We're not driving. 10, 20 minutes out of our way to places to save money because you're not saving money when you're spending your gas. So we're going to go into ShopRite and grab a couple of items that we need for the next week and I'll show you those on the table and go over that receipt as well. And we are going into the ShopRite. All the grocery stores are almost set up the same way. Depending on where you walk in, you're going to walk into produce and then it goes out to bakery than meats and the deli and seafood and other areas of the store. Grab a bag of the lightly salted Tostitos. And Dave is gonna get a bag of the wavy. I'll let you know how much it is at home from the receipt. Back in the area where there's meats and seafoods from packaged to fresh to butcher, there's a cut of beef that's on sale that we're gonna pick up to go with our arzu packets that we like to do in the oven and in the crock pot. These are half price. I'm gonna be grabbing a bag. I love them, they're one of my favorites. David is getting the Canada Dry on sale. We only buy the soda when it's on sale, depending on cans or bottles, and we check our flyers weekly. They are going to honor the two for four price because there was a discrepancy between the two sales. We're going to get both those chips two for four dollars. Always talk to the manager and they'll accommodate you. We're going to go over everything momentarily on the table, and I will show you what we picked up. There is my new meal planning board from the Dollar Tree, and I have the receipts right here. We'll also talk about the giveaways that we have every 100 subscribers. Plus, we're looking for 12 people to give out a gift card valued at $10. Let's get started. We don't always buy a lot of meat because we buy bulk on our pork, chicken, and beef. And it's spread out through the month. We break it down. If it's frozen, we thaw it and then freeze it into individual bags and portion it out. 
so it spreads out over time. And that saves you money in the long run, so you're not constantly buying things all the time. But we got the party wings, and they just stay in the bag. Those were half price. I really like cashews. We ended up getting the chips for two for four because of the discrepancy in the price. The manager was awesome. I got the lightly salted Tostitos. I do have some salsa verde that I want to try that we picked up at Walmart a week ago. We got the geyser rolls over at BJ's. At BJ's, we got the blue cheese. We got the roast over at ShopRite. It was on sale. We saved over $30 at ShopRite. This cheese board is a great buy because the bulk cheeses that I like that are sliced are around $9 a package. And for like a dollar more, I get a variety. Then I picked up my salads that I really like. You get two of them. And if you were to buy everything separately, you're going to be paying a lot more than what you would pay for for the salads that are already made. David got his breakfast sausages. We got the soda, which was, I believe, three for the price. And we'll go over the receipt in a minute. And then I got the breakfast sandwiches. We also got the lunch meat, which is uh, the best price in my area for lunch meat. Walmart's is a little more expensive, so we go over to BJ's, and you don't need to buy an entire pound at the BJ's. You can get like a quarter or a third. Here's the meal planning board. It's done by Theme Nights with a rotation system. We're planned through the 14th of April. We're going to be having a spiral ham on Easter Sunday, and Thursday tonight is Mom's Choice Night, and we're going to be throwing a meatloaf in the, to the oven and doing it in my Dutch oven. Then Fridays, we like to do takeout, and we have beef on Saturdays. And that's how I do my theme nights. We do it with a type of cut. And I never plan a whole recipe. There are in the meal planning playlist linked down below. Not seen here. David's Stella Artois. Still $30.99. It is way cheaper than the beverage center. when we pick up the beer over at our BJ's. Then we paid $26.99 for the wings. $6.99 for the Caesar salads. $11.49 plus a coupon of $2.50 for the sausages. The sandwich for... Breakfast of sandwiches were $14.99. The geyser rolls were $5.99. The cheese tray was $11.99. Much cheaper, in my opinion, than the actual bulk package of one style of cheese. And then you get a ton of different cheeses. Then the brew cheese crumble was $5.99. The lunch meats were $1.65, $1.53. And the turkey was two forty-seven, bringing us to $1.19, bringing us to $100.19. And we saved $22. $22 is pretty good on your bulk items. Then for ShopRite, the Emerald Nuts, they were half price. The Tostitos were on sale with $1.49 off. The Canada Dry, we got three of those. I believe they were three fourteen nine dollars And in the store clips, you'll see the actual prices. And then the Lay's chips, we got them two for four rather than the two for seven because the matter of was really nice. We would have paid $80. We saved 30 So we have a total between two stores, $120, $152 for this week's grocery haul. That is it for this video. For the giveaways, uh, they are $10 gift cards from eBay to Amazon to Dunkin' Donuts to Dollar Tree. All listed down below. If you're new and you need to comment in order to qualify, please be subscribed in the United States residents. We give out gift cards every 100 subscribers. We're looking for 12 people to give out one. We just gave one away, so that was really exciting. If you're new, our newsletter is coming out very soon. You can email me, countryboots1268 at yahoo.com if you're interested. Our social sites are linked down below with all of our playlists. Thank you, everybody, for your continued ongoing support. We really appreciate each and every one of you. Have a fantastic day. Smash on that subscribe word. Thank you so much for shopping with us today. And thank you for watching.